Today we're going to talk a little bit about the ID column and a quick primer on how to get it up and running for you. So first of all you can go to the ID column settings from within the list settings for the list. Uh, you can also get to it from the Nitro Studio apps page. If you open up the ID column link you're going to come to this page where you can see any patterns that may already be configured for your list. So if we go to new setting, we can create a new pattern or we can edit the existing one. If you're creating a new one, you can choose an existing column. This could be a single line of text column or multi-line text with plain text as an option. And you'll see the uh, informational text up here shows what you, what I just described. So you can select a column that already exists or you can create a new one. I'm gonna create a new one called ID column and like that and typically as we always recommend don't use spaces in the internal name and that is for in case you're referencing this in workflows and custom actions it just makes it easier you can apply the id column on item creation or you could do an item is updated or both and we're going to select an item create and we're going to choose after save now this is important because if we're using the ID value within the context of this pattern, you're going to want to make sure that ID exists. If it is uh, not created yet, your, this ID field does not exist and it won't give you the proper information. So we want to do after save for that one. Now, don't worry about the syntax too much. It's good to know. It's easy enough to put in, but you can also pop open this binocular here to get the pattern and start building it. Let's say I wanted to add something else, some other information to that ID column. We can add title and you can see it adds that uh, percent percent around it and gives you the proper formatting for within the, uh, the column reference. So simple enough, build your pattern. You can put literal values in here. If you want to do something like purchase requests or something else you can just literally type in words and that's fine and that's just going to dynamically pull the ID dynamically pull the title and append purchase request at the end of it so simple enough hit OK now we could also apply something on update let's say some you know, the title changes or there is uh, another field in here that has a status or something where you want to track that a different way you can do the apply an item update and then we could use the same pattern or we could use a different pattern when you are I'm going to turn that off for now when you are using just the ID field so let's say I go ahead and remove all of this we can actually enable padding let's say you wanted to have a five digit ID number you could use this padding to say ID length is always going to be five and then whatever that ID value is is going to be um, uh, added to you know, move to the right essentially behind some zeros that would be to the left of it. So if your ID is one, it'll be zero, 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 one. If it's 10, it'll be zero, 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 one, zero. So you know, it's gonna respect that number of uh, length that you've put in there and add only as many zeros as possible. Of course, if you're in the hundreds for ID, it'll be just two zeros, et cetera, et cetera. We could also put a condition around this so let's say you wanted to do instance versus requests. So you do incident and the ID, and then we can make sure we have a status field uh, on there, which I don't have, but that's okay. You could do a status field that says equals incident, and then we could create another configuration like this and use the same, you know, actually use the same column. And I'm gonna go ahead and save this to show you. Uh, delete that, save. And if I, create another new setting I can now use that column I just created and apply a different pattern based on uh, something else so I could do request instead of incident and I'll just type in my formatting here ID like so and now I have requests and I'll just put a condition on that to be request instead of uh, instead of uh, incident. In this case, since we have a word, we probably don't want to do the padding because it's not going to do it on the number and now it's going to do it in front of requests so it doesn't really understand where the number is in this pattern. So just a note on that, if you're going to be using this, make sure it's just a number field up here that you're going to be using. And that's about the long and short of it. Uh, pretty easy to uh, to configure. And uh, I, one more note, prevent manual editing so that the lets you prevent your users from changing it so it's going to become read only on the edit form. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it.
uh, feel free to check out our manual and email us with any questions or put anything in the community forum. All right, thank you so much.